times that I spent, for instance, with George, uh, TJ is George here in Bangalore. It was one of those days when after multiple review sessions that I, you know, would also be part of and open my mouth and say something or the other. There was a railway budget being provided. It was provided by Madhu. Dandavate, Dandavate was also known to me because of my other past things. Not that I knew him at that point of time. He was minister, railway minister and all that. None of them knew of these things of the of my, you know, past of the last seven, eight years. Not that I consciously kept it away from people, but it just wouldn't occur to me to say it. And there was this day when he said, ha, yesterday at the meeting, you said something about the railway budget. It's coming up tomorrow. Can I ask you to do the lead for tomorrow? The leader meant that you had to do an editorial of the three. There are six others or five, six others in the room. In George's room, this is. Must have been about 11.30 when we do the hits and misses review. So I couldn't say no. Wouldn't occur to me to say no because, you know, you don't say no to such a thing. You know, your, you know, your, your competence is being questioned sort of thing. So I go out and I start sweating. From then on, I rolled, I don't know how many sheets, tried some enough paragraphs, nothing working. I would try another way. Normally, what I would do is, if I have to write some things, let's say a 600 word, this is normally a 200 word, that's it for a leader. A 600, 800 word I have to write, what I'll do is I will look for something that has been written in the past, something akin to this area, close to this, and see what I can get as a, a lead to what I have to start with. Starting is always the problem with these things. So I went back, read various leaders, some things on the financial budget, the previous years, and we used to have stocks of those things. <laughs> Nothing on soft files, right? So I read things on the railway budget. Didn't know what to say. 4, 435 is deadline. I mean, for print, for, for the editorial uh, section. See, news sections, page 3, for instance, page 7, the turn page, that is. We'll all go later for the city editions. So we have deadline time. So I'm sitting here fretting after some 15 smokes, not getting anywhere. Must have been about, must have been about 3.15, 3.30. I'm seeing George walking across the editorial room from there. And I know he's coming toward me. Just instinct, I know. I don't know what to do about this. I didn't know how to get this going. So he comes, looks at me and says, and I say, look, I'm just done. And I turned in some two paras. I had to finish it. I'll come and show it. He said, oh, I'll read it in the morning. And he turned, walked away. It, it was a major lesson. You know, what, what it meant is that I don't judge you, your voice. And he had said this once before somewhere. Doesn't matter, Hari. You are 25. I am 60. Your voice is as important as mine is. You know, so that voice had to be got right. 